But God has honored me. The devil attacked me with that first year. Let me tell you, I mean, the enemy hit me in every way. I had to cut the budget. I hurt a lot of feelings. I did have some people leave the first few months that, that just happens. didn't want. It always happens. You know, they just didn't, couldn't get down with my grace message. We were feeding the, we, I started feeding the homeless every week. They didn't like that. You know, I had a lot of people start criticizing me. But every time I'd want to just wallow in depression, God would affirm a decision. Hallelujah. And I, I, let me tell you a few things that happened uh, that a lot of people don't know about. You know, I was struggling. The church was doing okay, but it wasn't doing wonderful. And I get a call um, from Jensen Franklin out of nowhere. Wow. And he invites me to the White House to meet Vice President Pence and Pastor Brunson, who our president got home with people like Jason Crabb and, and other prominent Tennessee pastors. And I get that, and I feel affirmed by God, and yeah. I get to go there. I didn't feel worthy of it, but it was a blessing to be there. Praise God. Well, I pick up my cell phone, Dr. Miller. We start praising Jesus in the White House. I'm, just, I'm no media expert, but I just pick up my phone, and I just record about two minutes of Jason Crabb praising the Lord there in the Oval Office. Well, I share the thing on my social media, on my Facebook, Ronnie Phillips slash RPMI, my public Facebook page. Well, I'm sick with the cold, so as soon as we get done with our meetings at the White House, I go to the Watergate Hotel, and go, and I take NyQuil and go to bed. <laughs> well, I get my, my right-hand guy, Jim, he wakes me up for dinner about five hours later. Well, that clip has 12,000 views wow. on it. <laughs> and my media staff has called me four times and said, you got something that's going viral. Mm -hmm. Today it has over three million views. Oh, wow. A month before Jensen called me, Ron Carpenter Jr. called me up on stage. First time I'd ever had him at Abba's house. Laid hands on me and said, I've only done this nine times in my ministry. I'm prophesying multiplication over you. Wow. Within a month, I'm at the White House. My followers are double. They're watching my sermons. They're going from 800 views to 1.5 thousand views because of that one little wow. half-cocked video. And then I'm sitting in my office and Marsha Blackburn, the politician from Tennessee, um, calls me and President Trump is coming through Chattanooga. And they said, we want you to say the opening prayer. Wow. <laughs> with Lee Greenwood and meet them and it and it was just the favor of God favor, because yes, here's favor. what it is I'm not bragging on me no what I'm saying to you is I was going through hell mm -hmm. and every time I'd want to quit God would say no son let me bless you let yes. me let you know I'm still with you I even in the pit don't worry about the people leaving I my favor is stronger. The hero of the end kept fueling me, yes, Doc. Yes. And things kind of kept happening. God has been good. And God is into orphans and widows and souls. Yes. And what I do and what my staff does, we love people. Yes. We are a house of grace at Abba's house. And God's into that. And so I'm going to tell you, the religious establishment that comes against ministries that are reaching people for Jesus Christ, you better be careful. Yes. You better be careful. Yes.